This is question number 11 of exercise 5 from Captain Suramaniam. So a vessel displaces 14,500 ton if floating in salt water up to her winter load line. Say this is the vessel. And this vessel is floating up to winter load line and this is the winter load line here. Let me just mark here with this color. This is the winter load line and vessel is in salt water. The displacement is given displacement salt water 14,500. Well this displacement in salt water but basically this is a winter displacement winter displacement it says that the vessel can load up to this load line in salt water in winter season now if she is in dock water of rd 1.010 now the vessel is in dock water suppose this vessel is in dock water and dock water relative density is given which is 1.010 with her winter load line well again I will use this winter load line WLL and that is loaded that is loaded up to here find how much cargo she can load we need to find cargo we can load if so that she would float at winter load line in salt water. So basically this is the maximum displacement you can have 14,500 ton and we need to find what is our present displacement. Well this is pretty easy. We know the formula that density is equal to mass over volume. So volume is mass over density. So this way we can easily calculate the underwater volume. Now this underwater volume is mass and that is the displacement. I can take 14,500 divided by density and the density is 1.025. Well the unit will be in cubic, uh, cubic meter, cubic meter here. So this underwater volume will remain same. This underwater volume and this underwater volume is same simply because the draft is same because vessel is loaded up to WLL here and WLL here. So let us find what is my displacement in dock water. 1010 is the underwater volume which I will take the same 14,000 500 divided by 1.025 multiplied by this relative density 1.010 now all I have to do just punch in in the calculator 14,500 multiplied by 1.010 and divide by 1.025 I could have used another Kelsey also but no problem 14287.8 ton well in dock water I have this 1414287.8 and I can maximum I can load this much so the cargo to load will be the difference of the two can we just yeah so cargo to load is displacement in salt water that is 1.025 minus displacement in dock water so all I have to do 14,500 minus 1.4287.8 is equal to 14500 minus 14287.8 is equal to 212.2 ton. So here in the birth 
I can load this much cargo here and I can sync this WLL so that when the ship goes out at sea ship has to rise and then winter load line touches the water line and this is the answer so this is problem number 12 of exercise 5 this says that a vessel of 12,000 ton displacement arrives at the mouth of river drawing 10 meter in salt water so the vessel's displacement is a 12,000 ton and arrives at the mouth of river drawing 10 meter in salt water suppose this is the river mouth let's do this way this is the river and this is the mouth of river and you arrive here at this point here the displacement is 12,000 ton draft is given which is uh, 10 meter draft is 10 meter and oh, let me just mark this point this is point A and density is salt water that means the density is 1.025 that is the relative density now how much cargo must she discharge so that her draft in an upriver port suppose there is a port here upriver port so how much cargo i should discharge at this port how much i should discharge so that her draft in an upriver port of rd 1.012 is 10 meter so draft is 10 meter make sense well this is a uh, pretty simple now imagine the vessel is like this and the draft is 10 meter displacement is given and the density is given so we will use the same formula that density is equal to mass over volume which means the volume is equal to mass over density so this will give you under water volume is equal to mass over density and mass is uh, 12,000 ton density will take 1.025 now this ship goes to a river port where the draft is remaining same however the density is different if the density is different then let's find what will be the displacement well displacement 1.012 will be under water volume multiplied by density which is 1.012 and this underwater volume will remain same because in both the po places place a and place b the draft is same so let's come down here let me write this underwater volume which is uh, 12,000 divided by 1.025 well this has to be in cubic meter multiplied by 1.012 and all I have to do just punch in, in the Kelsey 12,000 multiplied by 1.012 okay divide by 1.025 8.8 ton so how much cargo I should discharge here how much cargo I need to discharge so that I don't uh, touch this level so all I have to do now the cargo to discharge at point A will be displacement at point a 1.025 plus allowed go which is 1.012 displacement so 12,000 minus 11847.8 this will give me 12,000 minus 11847.8 is equal to 152.2 ton now let's work on problem number 
13 of this exercise that a vessel is floating uh, a vessel is floating in dock water of rd 1.005 has the upper edge of her summer load line in uh, water line to starboard so let me just mark here this is port and this is a starboard and this is the summer load line summer load line so it says that the vessel has the upper edge of her summer load line in water to the starboard to the starboard so the water line is if this is the water line so water line is touching this upper edge and and 50 mm above the water line to the port so the port side the summer load line is 50 mm above the water line so this is the water line i can just mark like this this is the water line well water line here the distance is 50 mm above the water line and here it is just touching so if her fresh water allowance is 180 mm and the tpc is 24 let me just write here fresh water allowance is also given which is 180 mm and the tpc is also given which is uh, 24 find the amount of cargo which the vessel can load to bring her to the permissible draft well the permissible draft is here at the summer load line so we need to find the mean distance mean distance of summer load line from water line from water line we need to work on that so the mean distance is going to be 0 plus 50 divided by 2 which is uh, 50 divided by 2 or 25 mm or 2.5 centimeter so if we see carefully my summer load line is above a uh, water line and this is the water line the summer load line will be 2.5 centimeter now all i have to do just draw these load lines t t for tropical s for summer w for of winter and this one is f that is fresh water mark and this is tropical fresh water well what we see here that this s is let me choose this color itself s is 2.5 centimeter above and we also know that if the vessel is in salt water this is the density but if the vessel is in fresh water so this is the density now in the question vessel is in dark water where the density is 1.005 so so vessel is somewhere here between the two 1.005 we need to find the dock water allowance from here to here this is the dock water allowance so dock water allowance is given as a change in the density 1.025 minus 1.005 divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by fresh water allowance which is 180 and the value is in mm however it is much better if I multiply this by 1000 and this by 1000 so simply I get 25 minus 5 divided by 25 or I can write it like this uh, 20 divided by 25 multiplied by 180 I can write like this this whole equation 180 so now just let me 20 multiplied by 180 divided by 25 so I get this value as 144 mm well let me convert into centimeter it will be 
14.4 centimeter now this distance is 14.4 centimeter all I need to know the total sinkage and the total sinkage will include this 2.5 also so 14.4 plus 2.5 will give me the total sinkage which is going to be 16.9 centimeter so let me write here now total sinkage it is a 16.9 centimeter the TPC given is a 24 however this TPC is given for salt water if nothing is stated now the vessel is in dock water so we need to find the TPC what will be the TPC at this relative density and then it can be worked out like this the TPC is directly proportional to relative density so the TPC 1.005 will be 24 into density 1.005 divided by 1.025 so let me just work on that 24 multiplied by 1.005 divided by 1.025 so the TPC is uh, 23.53 ton per centimeter the formula to for cargo to load is very simple cargo to load is mean sinkage in centimeter multiplied by TPC so mean sinkage in centimeter is 16.9 and the TPC value is 23.53 so I will get 16.9 multiplied by this 397 point roughly 397 point round off to 7 ton